Here's how to make a fully automated transport for resources that automatically loads and unloads cars. There are a few ways to do it. I enjoy this design because it's simple, cheap and fast. Place down two stations. One where you want to load resources and one where you want to unload the resources. Connect them with rails and in this example I'm keeping the stations very close to each other so that we can see what's going on. But you won't probably need all of this for just a few feet distance in real life. You could probably just kick the resources around. Place any storage that you want on the unloading station, depending if you want fast unloading on the spot or you want to just unload resources. Then move them to another location, which is more likely to happen. Provide power to one station. This will be enough since rail carry power. I'm pretending we're extracting compound here and this is the resource I wanna gather. So I'm gonna need an auto arm, connect all with power, but don't switch the auto arm on just yet. You may add a filter to ensure it only grabs the resource you want. Now add the auto extractor and connect the power. Add storage to the loading station as well, so that we can have a number of resources at hand. In this example, we're gonna set the loading stations as following. Stop, disable and load all cars. Then set up the unloading station as follows. Stop disabled and unload all cars. We don't need to stop the cars because they are going to stop anyway since we didn't place any rail after the station. Now get a rail car and place it at the loading station. Get some storage. I recommend using this large storage because it's versatile and also I like the little house look when you add four medium storage on top of it. Ah, I'm feeling home already. And now the trick. Get a storage sensor and a proximity repeater. Attach the storage sensor onto the storage and set it to full, not full. Both green arrows on. Place the proximity repeater on top and you're done. Now you can turn the auto arm on and the auto extractor too in case you haven't yet. Once the storage gets filled up, the sensors are gonna make the cart go to the next station and once the storage is fully unloaded, the same sensors make the car go back to the loading station. You are going to enjoy fully automated resources transportation as long as there are resources to be moved. Add an engine or coal if you want it to go faster and watch this video next to learn more about Astronaut Rails and other tips. Stay safe!